It's been more than a week now and the Duke of Sussex has not been seen outside attending any recent occasions. Since he returned from King Charles' coronation no one has heard any of his recent movements so far people speculate that Prince Harry's sudden change in movement is due to the fact that his visa has expired and he cannot be seen outside without papers to prove his nationality. However, Harry's drugging habits won't permit him stay in the US for long especially after how he revealed his love for marijuana and of course drug dealing is a crime in the USA. According to Harry, he started doing drugs when his mother died and this completely made him an addict he further confessed that drugs makes him feel good about himself and more confident. The person who was in charge of suppling Harry with drugs was rumored to be Doria Ragland who happens to be his wife's mom. But after some time she disappeared and only showed up after 13 years while others say she went to prison for doing drugs dealings, Doria herself said she was not in prison but that she was on business that's why she wasn't around for so long. Nevertheless, Harry won't be granted any visa to continue his stay in the US since he is a drug addict and drug addicts aren't allowed to stay in the US cause they are considered to be bad influencers and have nothing to teach the upcoming generation. A prince of that caliber that deals with drugs cannot even be trusted to rule a country cause of the many drugs that's in his head. Immigration experts warn that Prince Harry could be barred from the US after admitting that he used drugs. In his upcoming memoir, the Duke admitted to doing cocaine, smoking cannabis, and taking hallucinogenic mushrooms. US authorities note that entry into the country is granted on a case-by-case -case basis, even if applicants have a history of illegal substances. It is not known if Harry had immigration experts warn that the Duke could have his visa revoked if he lied about his past. In his new book, Harry revealed that he took cocaine at the age of 17. He did a few more lines in the past. The one hard party also admitted to hallucinating during a celebrity-filled event in California and smoking cannabis after their first date. Immigration decisions are made on a case-by-case -case basis and most applicants with a history of drug use would be denied American visas, according to the Sunday Times. U.S. immigration rules state an individual's current and past actions, such as drug or criminal activities the person may not be eligible for a visa. It's not clear what type of U.S. visa Harry has, but analysts think he has an O-1 visa, which is given to people with extraordinary ability. If Harry has an O-1 visa, it would have to be renewed after three years. His visa could be set to expire this year because he relocated to California. His renewal application could be affected by his past drug use.